And that's when the adventure really began. Because it was hot that day and all that. But when we got there, I realized I had made some kind of mistake. In the, You know, I was a bachelor. I've been a bachelor most of my life because the women, you know, even if they come into my life, they go, ah, I've got enough of him, and I'm a bachelor again. Anyway, I was used to not sewing up my clothes if they ripped. I just, you know, slapped on duct tape. Well, I had rips in certain areas of my trousers, my blue jeans, so I just slapped on some duct tape, and hey, the jeans stayed together. Well, that duct tape doesn't do well on a 12-kilometer walk. So by the time we got there, I was hurt. I, I was hurting. My thighs, my inner thighs were really hurting because the duct tape was um, scraping against my inner thighs. Uh, I won't paint you a picture, but it wasn't pretty. Anyway, we got there. We tried to take a picture in the dark of Vyacheslav Nesbal's bust. Um, we were the last people in the pub, so we got the beer and the sausage. And then we came out. And I'm like, oh, trying to catch my breath because, you know, man, my, my thighs are really hurting. And that's when Roman told me, he had a particular way of speaking English. He said, James, we missed the bus. We missed the what? We missed the bus. Okay, when's the next bus? Tomorrow, James. I said, well, how are we getting back to the train station? Oh, James, it's only 12 kilometers. Let's walk. I'm like, uh -huh. The walk from that little village back to the train station. If that wasn't proof I'm a man, I don't know what is. That was one of the most painful situations from the very beginning to the very end. The little dog, the, uh, the, the Czech uh, gentleman who could not, tell, who not, could not keep a schedule, uh, the Czech lady and her little dog, uh, the little dog, and the American with no sense of direction, who has to depend on everybody. I'm, I'm still in Lincoln City. I have no sense of direction. Drive down the wrong, wrong road and you'll never find me again in Lincoln City. Anyway, that was one of the most painful situations I've ever been through. My God, I don't know how I got from that little village back to that train station without collapsing in, in, in pain. It was just unbelievable. It was like slow motion terror. Anyway, I got back to the train station, and Roman said, "Oh, let's walk another kilometer because you know they've got a pub." And I said, "I'm not moving anywhere. You know, I'm just going to sit here. If the train comes, that's fine. If the train doesn't come, up, that's fine." So we um, we well, they went to the pub and they came back with a soda for me, and I just laid there until. It came time to get on the train. Then we got on the train. We got on the train. We went to Brno. Then we dropped off uh, Gabby. And then we went back on the train, went to Ostrava. And then, you know, we said goodbye at the train station, Roman Krejci and I. And I had to walk back to the grammar school where I was running a room. And believe me, that walk, you know, was like the mummy's curse. I, I, I really was hurting. And by the time I got back to that place, I, I didn't think I'd ever survive. And boy, whew, I took those pants, those, those blue jeans, and I threw them in the trash because I'd never suffered like that before. Oh, that was really, really painful. And that was, you know, one of the more exciting vacations I ever had was this, you know, and that, that walk was one of the worst things I ever had. And, um, well, I guess that's, that's that, you know. So when I came back from that vacation, I was having a lot of... No, no. Are, are we just done? Looking. No, go ahead. We're, we're done? I'm not doing anything. Well, just I'm, I'm running out of conversation here. That's why you need to send in your suggestions, and I'll talk about something other than, you know, chafed thighs. Now, I know that might excite some people, but it doesn't excite me. <laughs> anyway... Remember, as I'm, as I'm checking off, you must come to the grand opening of the gem hypnosis. Se semi, semi grand. Semi grand, yes. Here, you know. Say goodbye, James. I'm saying goodbye. Oh, you must come. Yes, cake and fun stuff, and you get to see Julie Starr.